Hello, and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. Today, I will be covering how to set up your copy of my LTO and begin working with your deck and tape. First, I'll be showing off some of the newest features that we've included. I'll start with my LTO check-in. To locate this feature, head to the top menu bar and select Help. From the drop-down menu, choose My LTO Check-in. After selecting this, a pop-up will appear with three different items. First is LTO. This will check to make sure an LTO tape device is connected and ready to be used. If there is an issue with this section, or any of the others, a yellow caution sign will appear to the right of the name instead of a blue check mark. Next, MacFuse. MacFuse is a necessary component that must be downloaded before you can begin working with your tape. This component check will ensure that it has been downloaded and installed correctly. To download the most current version of MacFuse, use the link I have included in the description below. It should be noted that if you have installed MacFuse and a caution icon is still appearing next to this component, it could be that the kernel extension is unable to load. To fix this, Select the caution icon, bringing up a new window prompting you to enter your password. This will allow MyLTO to load the extension for you. The final item is LTFS. This check looks for an LTFS that is compatible with your deck and tape. Luckily, in the newest version of MyLTO, we have included a bundled LTFS that eliminates the need to locate, download, and install any additional components. However, there is still the option to use a custom LTFS. Because this process is more complicated, it is not recommended. However, I have included a link in the description below detailing the installation and setup process. After you've completed the check-in and see that everything is good to go, you can exit out of this screen and now you can begin working with your tape. From the main view, if you look into the left-hand panel, you'll see your deck and your tape. If you don't see your tape, you may need to refresh this view using this button here. After your tape appears, it will load in an index for your tape. While this index is loading, your tape will appear as gray, and once it has loaded, it will look as mine does now. The index is a new feature in MyLTO 2023 that allows you to view your tape's contents without having to mount and spin your tape. Not only will this save you time, but it will also extend your tape's lifespan. You can view this index by clicking the drop down arrow here to the left of your tape, or you can select your deck or tape to pull up the deck options view. Here, you will be able to view the index in more detail by selecting a particular folder or file. If you have recently added any files or folders to your LTO tape and they do not appear, you can select the refresh button here in the upper right corner to refresh your tape's index. This view is also where you can find your deck options. I will cover these in more detail in a separate video, but very briefly, these options include the advanced deck options and the tape control options, mount, format, recovery, and eject. After you set up your deck and tape, you can exit out of this view and begin performing jobs either in simple mode or in preset mode both of which I will go over in separate videos. There are also a number of other settings that you can access through the top menu. However, these mirror those that can be found in our software, Shopa Pro, and for that reason, I've simply included a link to the videos that go over these settings in the description below. There you have it, a complete overview of how to set up your LTO device. Be sure to check out our other MyLTO tutorial videos covering how to run jobs, the deck options, and recovery. Thanks for watching, and as always, imagine together.